came to the Lord and they, they demanded of him to know where is the kingdom. And Jesus responded to these Pharisees and he said this. He said, the kingdom of God is within you. Now, now watch this. If you're born again and, and you've given your life to Jesus and now you've entered the kingdom of God, Jesus says for those that are born again that the kingdom of God is in you. Now, if the kingdom of God is in you and the kingdom of God is in me, then where do you think the kingdom of God is? It's right here. It's right there where you're sitting or where you're watching. It's right here where I'm sitting. And what the Lord is trying to tell us is that we don't need a mindset that the kingdom of God is on the other side of Pluto. We need to recognize that the kingdom of God is right here, right now, if we're born again. Now, this is significant because how can you preach the kingdom if you don't know what the kingdom's about? How can you preach or even demonstrate the authority of the kingdom if you don't know how it functions? So the Lord Jesus had to tell and had to teach and had to train his apostles how the kingdom of God functions. And he tells them this, I give you authority and I want you to go heal. I want you to cast out devils. And he says this, and tell the people when you do it that the kingdom of heaven has arrived. Now watch. I want to take you to Matthew chapter 6 because how many people need their needs met? I mean, I know I, know, I know I do, and I know you do. We need our needs met. I mean, we have bills, and there's things that we need in our life. And I'm sure if you're watching, you have some, some very specific needs. Now, Jesus gave us the answer to how to get all of our needs met because I want you to hear this. In the kingdom of God is abundance. There's no lack there. Everything you need to advance the cause of Christ in your life, around about you, everything you need is in the kingdom, and the kingdom of God has abundance in it. So everything you could possibly imagine is available unto you already. So now here's the mystery, though. How do we access it? How do we get the things or the abundance that's in the kingdom to come into our life right here today. And so the Lord tells us something. I want to spend some time going over this. And if you've got a Bible, uh, you can read it with me. It's in Matthew chapter 6. And the Lord is going to talk to us about how to access the abundance in the kingdom. He's going to tell us how the kingdom operates. He's going to talk to us about the kingdom. And then he's going to tell us what we need to do, our mindset, and how we need to posture ourselves so that we can receive the abundance of the kingdom or at least understand the operations and the functionings of the kingdom of God. So in Matthew 6, 24, Jesus says this, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. So I need to stop right here because Jesus is describing two different kingdoms. He's describing his kingdom, and he's describing what he, he calls the kingdom of mammon. And so we need to understand there are two different separate um, kingdoms. And then he goes on to say this, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what shall you put on it? Is not life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? And the answer is absolutely. Which of you, by taking thought, or in other words, which of you, by worrying, can add one cubica to his statue? And why take you thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the valley, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and the bar is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, watch, here we go, we're going to get good now. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Man, this is awesome. What's he saying? He's saying, I'm about to reveal to you how to access the abundance of the kingdom. 
He says, you know, why are you worrying about all of these things that you need? And that's what we do. You know we do. We worry about how we're going to pay our bills, how we're going to feed our children, um, how we're going to, get, how we're going to pay the, 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 you know, for our electric and our gas and all these other myriad of things that, that continually weight us down all the time. But Jesus says this. He says, I am going to give you the 